Hey, so bad news. I'm absolutely miserable with you. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just having the worst time. Well, it's funny you should bring that up because I'm also having a terrible time just just on a daily basis. Oh, you are? Yeah, no, I'll be honest, this is this has not been fun. I think we're an ill-suited match. I don't want to be around you at all. That, that's not great. No, no, I think I'd prefer to not be your wife. Oh, yeah, no, I prefer that as well. Because like, when you talk, the sound of your voice makes me feel like my ears are b bleeding. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, the way you brush your teeth, it, it makes me want to impale you with a harpoon. I can, I got that vibe for sure. I could see that in your eyes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what was once a lustful desire is now definitely more a harpoon-related desire. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. I think we should break up. Oh my god, can you imagine? That'd be so good. It's too bad we can't, though. Why? Well, I mean, we kind of promised, right? Remember? There was like a bunch of people there. There was that dude in a robe. Oh, the guy in the robe. Yeah. Oh, he made us promise to some pretty intense stuff, didn't he? Yeah, kept talking about his dog. No, he was saying God. Oh, yeah, no, that does make sense. You know what? We also signed papers, remember? And we got those people to watch us sign them, and then we sent them to the government. We got the government involved, didn't we? Why did we do that? How is it even legal to make a promise that lasts forever anyway? It does feel unnecessarily long. Then again, I promised I was going to cut out sugar last year, and I did not do that. <laughs> you gained 15 pounds. It's probably from the stress of this marriage. I believe it. Yeah, I have premature grays just from waking up beside you every morning. Oh yeah, no, I noticed. I don't like looking at your face at all anymore. Kind of wish it looked more like mine, to be honest. Mm, mm, there's some deep psychological trauma there. No. So what do we do? Well, can't we just shred the papers? I feel like they probably made copies. Friggin' government. So now we have to live together till we die. There are a lot of years left. I could poison you. Right, yeah, no, but then I'd be dead, so I don't love that option. I'm not in love with it. Well, I, but you wouldn't know. Right, because I'd do it all secret like. Yeah, but no, I'd find out. I don't I don't like that plan at all. Okay, what about this? New idea. Spitball in here. We sign a new paper. Oh, a new paper, like a totally like a different paper. Yeah, yeah. And we get the government to look over it this time too. But it's like a reverse wedding. Oh, so like we make our hate official. Okay, yeah, no, that sounds good. Yeah, and then we get different people to watch us sign it. You think they do it for free? God no. That makes sense. Yeah, no, I think they'd charge us a fortune, I imagine. That's not great. No. No. Well, and I would take half your stuff. Wait, what? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, then I want half your stuff. Well, that's not fun for me. So, okay, we pay these people a bunch of money to watch us sign a new paper, and then we, just, we don't have to live in this hellhole at all anymore. That's the idea? Well, it sounds emotionally and financially draining, but also, like, totally worth it. I'd say so. I would just love, if I could, I would love to never see your face uh, ever again. Well, one can only hope. Well, you know what? I'm in. Let's do it. Do you think this will have an impact on the kids? I think that... No. Well... Hi there, hello, it's me. I'm the frick and I'm the collab -stronaut. I hope you liked that sketch. That was a collab with Julie Nolke. And hey, good news, we made a video on her channel too. It's about the first couple to ever get married. While you're there, go ahead and subscribe to her. She also makes videos where she talks to herself. They're real good. All right, I gotta go now. Thanks for watching. B bye, I have, I have to leave.